and welcome back to my channel and controversially I am once again stood up. Normally I'm sat in my very squeaky but very comfy armchair but today I thought I would use my rail because I'm going to show you everything that I have bought in January. Now I haven't bought too much, I have been quite good because as you'll see in one of my other videos where I reorganise my wardrobe and actually have a bit of a clear out, I do have a lot of clothes so I try not to buy too much every month but every so often you need some pieces you know just to reinvigorate your wardrobe and also to sort of go with the trends so I have picked up a few pieces in January and also a couple of things in the sale because I do like the January sales and um, I also have purchased Emma bought me for Christmas a Cezanne voucher I literally was over the moon um, she knows that I've wanted to buy something from there for ages. So she was going to choose me something, but she wasn't quite sure what I would want. So instead, she bought me a voucher. And I purchased the thing that I had been looking at for a while. And I haven't even unboxed it yet. So it's just arrived today. So I thought I would include it in this video, as obviously I have purchased it in January. I'm also going to include some of the things that I've chosen as part of my January Amazon fashion pick. So every month I get an Amazon voucher to spend on Amazon fashion. And even though I haven't paid for it as such, I have chosen everything in January, so I thought I would include it in this video. So I hope that's okay. I hope you enjoy seeing what I've chosen. So many of these pieces I haven't even tried on yet, so I'm going to do a bit of a try on for you, a bit of a talk through how I'll style some of these things up, and yeah, a bit of a nosy at what I've been buying. So let's get going. Okay, so the first piece is, and you'll probably have seen this already on my Instagram, is this amazing Primark jumper. Now, I wasn't going to buy this because I own a huge amount of knitwear, and I did actually buy a lot of new knitwear last year, like the tail end of last year. But this design was too cute, and I walked past it so many times, and I just thought, do you know what? I'm having it and I bought it and I'm so glad I did. So I've sized up to a medium so it's nice and slouchy because it's actually not that long a design. I wouldn't say it was cropped um, but yeah it's not the longest jumper in the world. Um, that's why I've gone a lot bigger. I think it's quite nice slightly slouchy off the shoulder. Um, I just wear it like you would any kind of jumper really with jeans quite casual I just think the print is amazing I love the v-neck I don't have many v-neck jumpers and it's a really nice way to show off um, jewelry and things that you've got um, so yeah so this was one of my very happy purchases and I believe that if you go in Primark now it is down in the sale to five pounds so part of me slightly wishes that I'd waited but it was worth it I think it was only ten pound when it's full price anyway so that is piece number one. I also bought from Primark this little uh, initial necklace. It's the bamboo style necklaces. You'll have seen these everywhere. They're based on a much more expensive version of this type of initial necklace. And yes, it's an S. It is not a D because I couldn't find a D and it was only £2. So I bought an S, which is the first letter of my surname. It could also possibly stand for single. I mean, who really knows? But I just thought it was too pretty to leave behind. So I am still keeping my eye out for a D because I would actually like the D. So if anybody spots one, please do let me know. But yeah, it was super cheap. It's obviously not like gold plated or anything, but then Primark jewellery isn't. So um, yeah, but it looks really, really nice on. I layer it up with some other pieces. And yeah, that was a little bit of a bargain. So some more sale purchases, I went on to Bershka and I love Bershka, um, I did a Bershka haul last year, I think it's a really really underrated place to shop, it's really really cheap and affordable but it has some really really nice trend pieces. My opinion about the sale is that they're brilliant, but be careful about what you buy. I tend to only buy like really classic pieces, so I won't buy something that's really, really trend driven, because obviously next season it's not going to be in fashion, and despite the fact that it maybe is a bargain, you're not going to get much wear out of it. And the first one from Bershka was a coat. Now my mum will be watching this and saying, coats, you've got so many coats, and I do, I do have a lot of coats. But when I went to style up an outfit um, for the blog, I wanted a grey coat to wear with it. And I do have one, but it's just not quite the right length. It's not quite the right shape. And it just, I think a grey, and this is a herringbone style coat, a grey herringbone coat is just a classic coat that you'll be able to get out every winter. So 
I've actually put the other coat onto my um, charity shop pile. It's just going to go to the charity shop and get donated because I've now bought this one. So this was $29.99 in the sale. I've bought it in a medium so I can fit a jumper under it, but it has that slightly oversized look. It's not super, super thick, but then also equally we are heading into spring. Um, so it doesn't bother me too much, but you can definitely layer underneath this. It's a really, really nice length. Um, I'm going to wear it actually with a hoodie underneath, I think that'll look so cool. Um, I've got a pink hoodie to show you um, and I'm going to wear that underneath this. And yeah, just knitwear but also I think a little slogan t-shirt and jeans and trainers. Really, really just wearable coat and yeah, I love it. I love the print, the shape, everything so I was really happy when this arrived. I bought this online, not in store. The other thing I bought from Bershka, in my Bershka haul, you guys went mad for the body that I bought. I found this body on Bershka and it's this black body. If you watched my What's New in My Wardrobe for Autumn, you'll have seen that I mentioned a blogger called Lorna Lux and how she'd influenced me. This was once again influenced by Lorna. She shared on her stories all of these sort of corset type tops and I was like, oh, can I pull that off? I don't know, but I really liked it. This body has that corset design, like under the bust, um, but it's just, it's so nice. The fabric, it's quite hard to explain the fabric. It's a little bit sort of, it's soft, a little bit lycra-y, so it's not like a matte cotton or anything. Really super stretchy, really flattering. I got a medium because I knew that the small would be too super skin tight because my other body from Bershka is a small and it is like, <clears throat> like can't breathe in it. And I didn't want this to be too, too tight. And it's going to be one of those tops that, again, I know I say this every video, it's like a date night top. You know, if you went out for drinks, um, it would look really, really hot, I think, without showing really any flesh. That's just my opinion. So, yeah, with jeans, maybe with a cute little blazer over the top or a coat. Um, but, yeah, love that. Really, really pleased that I bought that. Another thing I bought in the sale, and this was actually in the two at Sainsbury's sale and I'd seen this on an Instagram that I follow. Um, I can't remember her name but her account is a mother's edit. I'll link her account below. She posted this top before Christmas and she just had it on with jeans and like a red lip and just like quite sort of messy grungy hair and it looked wicked. And again, it's a, it's a night out top but it's totally covered up. But it's one of those tops that's like, it's quite sexy, it's quite cool, but yeah, not flashing, not flashing too much flesh. And it's like a flock leopard print design. And okay, it probably doesn't have much longevity to it once we get, you know, further into spring, sort of flocky velvet type isn't gonna be that sort of suitable. But I do think this is the kind of top that you could get out every year as long as it washes okay. But it looks really, really nice on. I got a size, what size did I get? I got an eight because I had a feeling that the 10 would be like not the right fitted. So it's a size eight, partly because that was all that was left, but it did fit really well. You might not find this in stores. It's definitely not online, so I can't link it. But have a nosy in store because it is really, really nice. And actually, I'd like to do a whole video on two at Sainsbury's because I honestly think that they have some amazing clothes and it's really, really under, under recognised, I think. So let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a two at Sainsbury's haul or styling video or something like that. Let me know. Okay, so here is the leopard print top. Um, yeah, as you can see, I have just got it on with a bra, which is how I would wear it. I think that is the way that it looks nicest looks quite sexy. I think I would wear a more exciting bra than this one. This is just a t-shirt one. But I think maybe something uh, black, but maybe with some kind of lace detail or something would look nice. Um, but you could also wear a little vest top underneath it. But yeah, size eight is sort of, it's tight to my arms, but there's room, you know? So it's not a skin tight top. So I think the 10 would have been way too big. Um, but yeah, I love it. It's a sort of night out top. Another sale purchase was in H&M when I bought the earrings and uh, it's a pair of black jean clots. I love clots, I own so many of them and I love jeans and this basically combines two of my favourite things. 
um, fit really nice, they were down to £8 in H&M, I won't be able to link, this will be the kind of thing that you'd have to look for in store, um, but yeah they've got a really really good like longer length to them, these will look really nice with trainers but also equally you could dress them up with heels, not that I wear heels, occasionally I wear heels, okay occasionally, but a nice pair of pointed shoes, pointed flats with these for a night out, or just to smarten them up. A good little staple buy, I think. I don't think you can go wrong with a pair of like black black jean clots. Really wearable, and actually they fit really, really nice as well. So I was really pleased when I found them. And then I made a couple of shoe purchases, and they were both from Primark. And the first is this leopard print pair of um, pumps, trainers. I mean, they're a complete Vans rip off. Um, but I just loved them and they were like £8, I mean you literally can't go wrong for £8, uh, fit really nice, Just they're just for kicking about in really, nice little stripe down the side, quite comfy to wear, so I bought them and I also, before I found these, on a different visit to Primark, I bought these, <laughs> which are a Converse rip off. Um, I do really want these in actual Converse, partly the reason why I bought these is because sometimes before I buy something really expensive like a pair of Converse, I buy a really cheap version and I see if I actually wear them and if I wear them loads and I find that they go with loads of stuff then I'll buy the more expensive version, does that make sense? So I bought these, these were £6, £6 and they're basically, yeah, they'll just go with everything, jeans, you know that all I wear really is flats and trainers, so I don't think I can really go wrong with another pair, I will have to find somewhere for them in my wardrobe, because I have too many trainers, but you'll see that in my wardrobe clear out. One of the reasons I'm filming all of this first, all this new in stuff first, is because then when I come to do the wardrobe uh, video, I need to fit all of this into said wardrobe, so yeah bargain bargain and a half they'd look really nice with this outfit wouldn't they this is like um you can't see it but at the bottom this is kind of a clot style jumpsuit it's pink cord and i think these would look really really nice with it so yeah this is the kind of thing i'd wear them with okay so let's move on to my amazon pick so as i said these are things that i have bought with a voucher that was given to me by amazon fashion and the first thing that i chose was a coat <laughs> another coat um, but this one is really, really cute. I have another coat a bit like this from Primark. It's been on my Instagram. A lot of you really, really liked it. And I've worn it a lot and therefore I knew that I would wear this one a lot. So, it's one of these Borg coats. It's a checked design and it's green and black. And I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe. I'm a little bit fearful of it in relation to dog hair. I suspect that I may have to keep it away from the dogs. Um, but yeah, I picked a size medium, a little bit oversized so I can fit maybe a jumper underneath it. So this is the jacket, um, yeah, I love it. Like I said, it is quite big and oversized, I reckon I could have gone down to a 10, I can't remember if I got a 12 because they didn't have a 10, but yeah, I like it. I think um, it's definitely very, very warm, I love the print. The colour is different to anything else that I have and um, I reckon it's definitely, definitely very, very wearable. The next thing I picked was a dress. I've got two dresses here to show you. You know how I am about dresses. I get them and then I never wear them. But I feel like I want to branch out this year into wearing them a bit more because dresses like this especially are so easy to wear with trainers and wear quite casual and that is sort of my style so I should make more of an effort to wear them. This is a leopard print wrap style dress, I haven't tried this on yet so I'll have to try this on and see how it is. Um, but yeah, wraps over and ties, I've got a size 10, uh, this is new look again, new look on Amazon. Um, sort of midi length, but yeah, I, I have high hopes for this, I think this for trainers, maybe a jumper underneath it, um, and a biker jacket, I think that'll look really, really nice, so I need to try that on. So this is the new look wrap dress, um, I like it, I do like it, but you definitely would have to wear something underneath it, because I can't quite seem to tie it in a way that, you know, if you weren't wearing something underneath it, you wouldn't end up with some sort of gapage issue. However, 
I do think that wearing something underneath it is the way that I would probably wear it anyway. Um, yeah, I feel like the print's cute, I think with the biker jacket. Um, try, and, try and show you the length. Can you see the length there? Um, yeah, I feel like with a biker jacket it would be quite cute. Like even maybe my yellow biker jacket I think looks quite cool. Um, yeah, I've got a black polo neck on underneath it and then I would just wear trainers with it I think so yeah I think I'm gonna keep it because I think it's cute but it definitely definitely needs to be a layered thing so either I guess you could put a vest underneath it if you wanted to the second dress is this blue one now this is from the brand find which is Amazon's own brand and oh, I'm not sure about this I love the print there is a very cool Instagrammer who I follow called Catherine and she just has the most incredible way of styling things up. I'll link her Instagram below because honestly she just, she has such a quirky sense of style. She's also a brilliant bargain hunter, she finds the best bargains. She had a dress a bit like this on her grid the other day and she wore it with a jumper over the top and it looked really, really nice. So when I try it on, I'm going to try it on with the jumper that I think would look nice over the top and see whether that persuades me to it. Um, it looked really, really cool the way she wore it. So we shall see. The benefit, obviously, of having this voucher and it not being my own money, of course, is that I can buy things and experiment with them. Obviously, not everybody has that luxury, but I, I like the fact that I can try these things out and show you guys, and then you can make your own decisions about whether you want to, obviously, spend your money on these things. So, but I'll always be honest if I think something's not worth the money. This is a really, really beautiful fabric. Um, I actually think it's so pretty, and it's much nicer up close when you see it. I can't decide. I feel like it's a bit, sorry, I'm just looking in the mirror. I feel like it's a bit granny chic. And I know that some other people pull this off. Um, like Hannah looks incredible in dresses like this and she never looks like granny fied or anything. She always looks really cool, but maybe it's because I don't wear them a lot, but I think it looks better maybe with the sleeves like this. But yeah, I'll try and show you this fabric, if you can see it. It's got like a um, very, very sort of damasky type floral pattern. A little elasticated waist, which is super comfy. But yeah, I'm not sure people, I'm not sure. has a um, slit at the side and it's kind of like, I guess, a midi length. So this is just a grey um, cashmere jumper. Yeah, I don't know. What do we think? I think it would be nice with a biker jacket and some trainers. I wish it had a V. If it had a V neck, I feel like that would suit me better. So, but this is the thing, you have to try these things, don't you? Okay, also from Amazon, I chose a suit. This suit, again, I haven't tried this on, so I need to try this on. So this is a black and white checked uh, with a little jacket um, and the trousers are like a paper bag waist trouser. I'd be interested to see what this looks like all together. I plan to wear it with a t-shirt underneath and trainers because let's be honest that's how I wear everything. But yeah I, I have loads of suits and you'll see in my wardrobe clear out how many suits I actually own and I do love them but you don't necessarily get everyday wear out of a suit so I think you know I need to err on the side of less suits this year because you can only own so many but I've got high hopes for this. And I also think the trousers, which are like a little pig bag waist trouser, will be really, really nice just on their own. Not on their own, I'd obviously wear clothes with them. Um, with a t-shirt or a jumper and a biker jacket and worn a little bit different. So hopefully I can mix and match those two pieces. But yeah, I need to try this on. Okay, this is the suit and I absolutely love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. It is so, so nice. So. The jacket's not that thick, I will say that. I was a little bit surprised when it arrived. Um, I don't mind that too much because it makes the whole thing feel quite comfy and quite relaxed. The jacket has got shoulder pads in it to give it a little bit of structure, which won't be for everybody, but obviously you could take those out. I've just rolled up the sleeves a tiny little bit, but yeah, it's got a nice sort of slouchy fit, the jacket. The trousers fit lovely. They're a very high waist, um, paper bag style with a tie and the kind of you know paper bag style and I just yeah the whole thing's just lush and um, the trousers are 
already covered in dog hair, surprise, surprise. Um, the trousers are a wide leg style. I'll show you the bottom of them in a minute. But yeah, I'm literally feeling this whole suit. I'm going to wear it with trainers, but also I would really happily wear just the trousers too on their own um, because they fit so nice. The trousers, yeah, they're a wide leg. They're a little bit full of static electricity. I hope that dies down because there's nothing more annoying than um, trousers that sort of cling to you, static cling. They're a little bit bulky, but then paper bag style waist trousers are like that, so that's just the nature of things. But yeah, very, very happy with my new suit addition, addition to my wardrobe. Yeah, love it. Okay, and then there's a few little tops that I picked from Amazon as well. This one is so sweet, so sweet. It's actually turned up and it's a little bit thicker than I thought it was going to be and I quite like that about it because um, obviously it is still cool in January. Um, but yeah, it's a little red and white striped top with a little gold slogan that says Je uh, with a little cutout on the shoulder. So only a little short sleeve. So obviously you could put a long sleeve top underneath it which would look really nice, it would show through the cold shoulder. Um, but I just think it's um, super cute. So I haven't tried this on, so I really hope it fits nice because this is very, very much my cup of tea. I love a good red and white slogan top. Very Parisian, yeah? Oh, I love it. It's so nice. It fits perfect. I love the little cutouts, um, the little gold foil slogan. And yeah, as I said, it's a little bit thicker um, than a t-shirt. It's not just t-shirt fabric. I would say it's like halfway between a t-shirt and a jumper and I quite like that about it. So yeah, I've just got it on with some black jeans at the moment. I mean, you could tuck it in if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, I think this will be really, really cute under a little biker jacket or... Oh, I love it. I really, really love it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is fine. Um, oh, so is the suit. The suit is fine. Uh, Amazon's own brand. This is fine as well. Another thing from Find, and this is really nice, and I have already tried this on actually, is this little slogan t-shirt. It's so cute. So this is Find as well, and it has little multicolored ooh la la, and this fits beautiful. So I have picked, I think it's a small, let me just check. Yeah, it's a small, and it literally fits perfect. It's that good, just a little bit fitted, but not too fitted. Um, the t-shirt fabric is lovely. I literally highly recommend this t-shirt. So cute, feels lovely, feels really, really nice quality and fits beautiful. And yeah, this will just go underneath loads of stuff with a little fun slogan on it. So it's a really cute little buy that. Really, really happy with that. And the last thing is another top. And that is um, another new look top. Um, new look on Amazon. And it's just this plain beige beige um ribbed sort of it's not it's only a round neck it's not a high neck but yeah just a little rib top again lovely nice and soft it's just a, a staple piece really to wear with other pieces and it fits really really nice yeah i'm really really happy with it i bought a 12 because i find new look tops like this if i get 10 it's like a bit too skin tight i wanted it sort of fitted but not you know spray on um, and this fits really, really nice for me. So, um, yeah, really happy with that. Already worn that, actually, and um, took some pictures of it for my Instagram. So you'll probably see it on my Instagram, possibly before this video goes live. Then the last clothes item is my Cezanne purchase. So I haven't even unpacked this out of the tissue paper, so give me two minutes. So it's come boxed up like this and in tissue paper, and here she is. So I bought a jumper. Um, and even though we are heading into spring, I would say that this is quite a spring jumper. So hopefully I will still get some wear out of it. But it was just so beautiful and it was the thing that I'd wanted really. So it is the, let me find the name of it, the Timothy. So it's the Timothy pullover in Ecru. And it's this kind of crossover style um, jumper with these really really pretty lace appliques um, 
and the idea is, is that you can actually wear these jumpers forwards or backwards so you can wear the crossover at the back and you can also wear the crossover at the front so I really like the idea of that. Now I have no idea how this is going to fit so I need to try this on because actually all they had left in this was a medium and I chatted to Emma a bit about sizing and she said she thought I would be fine with a medium so I'll have to try it on and see. Okay, this is my Cezanne jumper. Um, so I've got a little cami um, underneath it. This is it worn with the wrap at the front. And I reckon I probably could have got away with a small. I think the medium is um, quite big, but I don't think it's too big, if that makes sense. But I think I could have got away with a small. It is a tiny little bit itchy and I was a little bit afraid of that because um, a couple of people had told me that Suzanne knits can be a little bit itchy and that's because they've got mohair in them which is the stuff that makes it so super fluffy. So also I put it on with these black jeans which is just a mistake because the fluff is everywhere. So but I do think it's beautiful, I just can't work out if it's on me, it looks a little bit grannyish. I don't know, um, but I love the lace appliques. I think it's super, super pretty. I haven't tried it on backwards yet. I mean, in order to have a complete V at the back, I don't know what I would wear underneath so that that looked nice. I don't know. So I love it. I do love it. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep it. I think I just have to accept the fact that it is a tiny little bit itchy, but that is just the way it is, but it is super pretty isn't it yeah just don't wear with black or don't touch anything that's black <laughs> and that's it that's everything that I've bought in January so far there could be more there's still some days of January left but yeah hope you enjoyed having a little bit of a nosy give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and of course do subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and I will see you again next time bye